Good day and welcome to Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. This is the fifth installment in the Fears to Fathom series, and I am incredibly excited for it. I don't even know how long I've been waiting for this to come out. I know uh, Rail's been working on it for a hot minute, but I am very excited to see where it goes. Um, this one does have a two hour runtime, so it's going to be a longer episode, but hopefully it's phenomenal and we all going to enjoy it and jump on in. So, with that being said, here we go. Here's to Fathom, Episode 5, Woodbury Getaway, December 8th. Oh, am I in control? Oh, I am. I need coffee to get done with the day. Always need coffee to get through the day. Oh, am I like the only one here? Oh, I'm not a fan of that. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to this vending machine. Normally like, you know, like a coffee vending machine probably. Whoa. Rail actually made a whole environment working? Heck yeah, that's awesome. I think it's the first one that actually did like a full environment. Um, energy bowl, prep B, Dr. Fizz. Um, energy bowl. I mean, it's not coffee, but it'll, it'll get the job done, right? Thank you. Pick it up. <sighs> Oh, I actually have to open it. Nice. Slamming an energy drink this time of night. Oh, the coffee machine's over here. Can I still get the coffee too? Need to prepare a cup of coffee. What? Okay, how do I... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you in this thing. All right, people, don't do this. Do not, um... <laughs> Chug a Red Bull and then get a coffee. Not recommended. Oh my god. This is a glass cup, apparently. And, uh, start on up. Ah, oh, yeah. Nothing like a good Keurig coffee. Get me through the day. Come on. Good. Wonder why I'm here so late. Need to put a lid on it. You don't need to put a lid on it. You want to put a lid on it. All right, let's go. Go back to work. Let's get. What? Did Did y'all just see something in the window? Am I crazy? I swear to God, I saw something in the window. I I know I'm not crazy. Okay, we're just gonna get back to our desk and finish so I can go home. All right. Finish work. Go mother. Where's the bathroom? Making me do all your menial tasks. Over here, maybe? I think it's over here. I feel like it's over here, right? Okay, yeah, I'm looking for... That's not the restroom. That way, okay. So, over here. Or I was done with it. Cool, cool. Um, yeet. Oh, frick. Don't, don't be an a-hole. Close enough. There's the restroom. Okay. Why is there a window in the kitchen like that? I think I'm a man? Oh, my woman? I'm a woman. Ha ha. Shows what I know. Couldn't do it with the, I mean, If you're the only one here, you kind of could. Thank, thank you for the, 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 the piss cam, I guess. Oh. Hello. I... No, I'm here at work alone, right? Oh, flush. Oh my god, mother! Mm. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't know you, anyone was in here. You almost, you gave me a heart attack. What do you mean? I'm so sorry. I should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Uh, no, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. <laughs> Must have slipped my mind. Uh, what had you frustrated, bud? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Uh, that's really rude. Mine is not on the floor. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. <laughs> I guess I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> God, I, I had a heart attack. Oh wait, dry my hands. Like abs. Oh, ow. 
she used paper towels, like absolute heart attack when that guy came running into my face. <sighs> well, hey, at least I know I'm not alone anymore. And see, my coffee cup is in the can. Wasn't me. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, who is calling at this hour? I'm already like pages behind on my report, man. Hello? Hello? Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. Mm. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? <sighs> my battery dies at the worst oh, time. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just going to be, just gonna be quiet. <laughs> quiet. Um, don't, don't be weird, Mike. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Sh sure, yeah. Um, uh -huh. about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was gonna do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey. So. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Uh um, you know, save on gas and relive oh. the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney oh time God. before Nora gets there. Who? Who's Sydney? I thought my name was Harper. Sounds good. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Yep. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Wh yes, Mike. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Y okay. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. <sighs> Things haven't been going very well for her. Sure, I'll find something It'll affordable. It'll just like the old college days. You always yeah. had a knack for finding the best spot. I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Y you're good, Mike. You're good. Just shh. All right. Talk to you later, Harp. Yep, bye. All right, let's make this reservation, I guess. Oh, God, that's that hurt my eyes. Okay. Um... Uh, Rental cabin. Oh, it typed it for me. Okay. I was actually typing rental cabin, but it's rent a cabin. I was close. Woodbury. There's going to be only one, isn't there? Not you. Not you. Nope. Oh. 99. Is that the only one? Only one. Perfect. Not even gonna read the reviews. I'm sure they're they're perfectly nice reviews. Can I, can I read the reviews? Only 3.1 stars. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh huh. Thanks, Airbnb. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. Okay. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental pay, uh, peace. I'm Sidney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We ran a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Cool. Two days later. Alrighty, alrighty. Getting, getting some exposition. Are you Mike? What's up, Mike? Afternoon, quite chilly today, eh? Yep. I've seen you around, but I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on 8th. <laughs> That's right. I thought so. I've seen you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? I work at a consulting firm downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways, hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the uh, snow starts. You too. Oh, oh. What? I forgot my suitcase in the elevator first. <gasps> I, I guess I'm hanging up. Crap. 
Okay. Pulling in the parking garage now. You down? Ah, Mike. Hey, bud. Long time no see. Harp. I'll give him a hug. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? That's weird, Mike. Don't, don't do that. Um, you look good. Thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. All right, this bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Say less. And uh, you, perfect. No issues whatsoever. Definitely not gonna fly out. All right then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. I'm sure we're gonna get Nora later, right? Nothing. It's a two-seater truck, so unless she's like in the middle on the console, it's gonna be really uncomfortable. 4:26 p.m. Whoa. Oh, look at little cowboy. It's actually a gift from my coworker Ricky. Said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow. I can see a little bit of resemblance. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. Cool, cool, cool. Play some tunes. Not much signal work uh, when you're out here this far. Dang it. Um, can I go through his stuff? Can I go through his glove box? Uh, what else is there to do? Just look around, I guess? Um, hey, Mike. How you been, man? Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck. <laughs> I knew it sucks sometimes. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what uh, do consultants even do. We consult. <laughs> that sounds like boring, lame. Important work. Um, how do I? Oh, what? It's just a school bus, right? Um, did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. True. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've heard people do that on the internet. It's a thing, yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, oh, Rick Wilson. What's going on here? Uh, that, uh, thanks, Rick. We're looking forward. It's confirmed check-in time, 3 p.m., right? That's correct. He will be in a lockbox. Oh! Let me read my text, Mike. Stop trying to hit deer. <sighs> Came out of nowhere. You know? I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Thanks, bud. Uh, great, thank you. It's 5 p.m. I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything's okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. We're on our way. Be there by 6. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Weird that an that a Airbnb host is asking me to uh, check in with him. Uh, how far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Wh what are you talking about, Mike? <laughs> Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. You know, Mike, I'll give you that one. You're, you're, you're a cool dude. You're just a little weird, that's all. It's kind of beautiful. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I agree. You know what, Mike? I like your attitude. You're positive. I'm being a little negative. Maybe you're a great guy and I just judge you too harshly on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Alright. 5.14 p.m. Now what? Are we finally going to be there? <coughs> Excuse me. Dairy Mart? What do I need from the Dairy Mart? Yo, Harp, check that out. What? The Dairy Mart? I was talking about the Dairy Mart already. Uh, Moe's Pizza. I mean, yeah, let's go check out some pizza, bro. Looks good for me. God, there's a lot going on in this game. 
You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right then, Harp, Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Mike, you are a goober. That's for sure, to say the least. Um, I can't, Mike, I can't go in. Can you open the door for me? Uh, my hands don't work. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. What? 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 Come on in, Harp. Thank you. That's a little weird. I don't want to know it. Whoa! What the frick is that? Alright. Uh -huh. Oh, great. Residents are recommended to stay in the house and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, uh -huh. Phil? Oh, oh it's my so god. Out here. I, I can't this is adorable. Like, the studio should have really brought some snow gear instead of <laughs> buying that new coffee machine. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the Oh studio. my god. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my mm. doctor said not to drink any caffeine. What is going Sounds on? Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should. <laughs> Cool off. Oh my god. You little shit. Why can't you go out here and deal with the stones? <gasps> what is this? I've been working here for six years and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil, I'm just clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Is that queso? Rhinoplasty. Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should. That sounds like queso. Light engineer behind the camera. I think it would be better field of work for you. <laughs> you only got your job. I recognize his voice, but I don't know who it is. Board. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you work the ENG sometime. How dare you? I'm a certified news anchor. <laughs> certified? Yeah, my ass, okay? You didn't do shit. How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh, yeah. What is this? Well, let's do it, punk. We'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> hey, you. Do you yeah. have a car? Do you have insurance? Do you have a No? What? No? Well, you're in luck. Because here at Larry's Auto Insurance... In what am I watching? We have it all. Buy a dog. Oh, my God. What is this? For that dog, along with the purchase of some high-end insurance for the car that you bought for that same dog. <laughs> One year warranty on all new models from 2005 to 2006. Only oh my God, what is all this? A year. We offer dirt cheap coverage for quality vehicles. You'll never find better prices. Anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna. Especially not at. Okay. Let's advance the story. I was I was really caught up there for a minute. Hey pal, how's it going? Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat. Uh, we'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me get a most special, a pep, and a marg. Any drinks for you folks? Um, should cover us. Just a pizza today, thanks. No drink to wash it down? No diet, Dr. Kelp? Alright, then six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. I got you. Don't even worry about it, Mike. I got my big girl job. I'm a pay. Order number's 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready. Alright, cool. Let's, uh... Oh, 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 Mike. I was gonna sit there. Rude. Okay. Long sniff. Why you... What? It smells so good in here. I swear to God, if you fart. Okay. Um. Oh. What is this? Uh, we're on the road, Nora. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, what? I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. Uh -huh. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping okay. the lights on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. Uh-huh. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. Why does that voice sound familiar? She sounds familiar. I don't know who that is, though. Uh, please be careful. Drive slow, and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up uh, to let you in. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, backpacker, doing some stretches. That's cool. Can't get up. I can't get up, apparently. All right, talk to him. This is Nora's voice message in the group. Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. Guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Mike, Mike, what are you talking about? Order number 27. 
Uh, hey, folks are all right here. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, what's Mike talking about with the fun? Uh, what? Oh, I gotta talk to him or something? Oh, there we go. I guess Mike had to get his pizza first. Why is everything gotta be Mike first? All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. Let's dig on in. Oh my god, I forgot about the food animations. <laughs> oh damn, this pizza slaps. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Just, just, just eat. Th oh my. Why is, why is it making these sounds, man? The sounds are just. <laughs> going in. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? Uh, yeah, I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. That's fair. But eat someone else's tires. We're still got a bit of driving to do. As you wish. I'm gonna save that, uh, supreme looking one for last, you know? That good stuff. You know what? Actually, comment what your favorite pizza topping is in the comments. I'm curious. Hey there, my friends. Hello there. I saw you all pull in driving that nice old truck. Um, that's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been do uh, going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Uh, where are you headed? I decided where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer. Just hiking the trails and staying in the country. So, what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? You know what? I'm feeling kind. Sure, you can come with us. Hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Uh, isn't that what we're doing? I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. Um, uh, um, I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. Um, we would give you a ride, but there isn't any space. It's my friend's car, I'm sorry. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people mean unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Hey, I tried to be nice. Blame Mike, okay? Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all get got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my pizza. Screw whatever that guy's talking about. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? Uh, man, he seemed harmless. You're being a baby. You really never know these days. For all we know, he could have been another Ted Bundy harp. Okay, there's two of us and one of him, all right? You're probably gonna hit him on the road later, I feel like. Some, something crazy's gonna happen with him. I, he ain't he ain't gonna be gone. Uh, I wonder what happened with the news anchors, though. If, uh, if Queso won that fight. Because I'm 90% sure that was Queso. Voicing it. Cool. Uh, pizza was the perfect fuel for the last leg of Yep, I'm a burp. Uh, uh. Let me get up. Yep, get up. Let me, uh, throw this out. Holy, that was good. All right, then. Are you ready to get hit the road? Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm going to drive so you can get a break. Take a, <laughs> take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you didn't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one question. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Whatever. Give me the keys. Freaking annoying. Alright, what did Nora say? Uh, okay, cool. She's being nice. Um, there's usually some other interactions you can do with these places. I want, no. You look nice. Uh, where are you headed? Who are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. We're just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for understanding. Alright, cool. No one wants to be talkative. Come on, let's go. Shut up, Michael. One year nope. All, all right, don't care. You can have your TV back on, though. Let's get on out of here. I'm going to crash his truck so many times. Especially if it's actually having me drive. The, the driving mechanic in these games is a little touch and go. 5.49 p.m. Yep. Good New Rear Drive. This is your host on WKWB. Your hometown okay. station. Am I gonna get a, a deer too? Oh yeah, the floor this old girl. The season, Ooh, we got a lake right there. Nice, nice. To set the mood. So uh -huh. here's a track that'll make you feel right at um, Am I gonna know where to turn? I, I don't know if I'm gonna know where to turn. I don't see any directions. Stay tuned. Oh, here comes a truck whipping around. 
Hey, 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 hey. You were on my side of the road. All right, screw you. Oh. Oh. Some bumping tunes. Okay. Oh. Very to the right. Oh, there is a there's there's snow skidding. There's drifting people. You gotta be careful with that. Why well, am I getting extra music playing? There's like extra music in the background right now. It's weird. Something about to happen. Is this Woodbury? Are we in Woodbury? Jesus sets free, shackled by lust. I don't know what Jesus is setting you free for, but God, that's weird. Ah, welcome to Woodbury, Vermont. Is this actually a real place in Vermont? I don't know anything about Vermont, so. Um, um where am I going? Oh, what do you mean you drove past our cabin? Step into my room. Where? Eva's bloody lips. Saying that she oh, wait, I think it's that one. Never really did. <gasps> drive, drive forward, drive forward. Walk over the mountains. Pretty sure. New home. Oh my god, come on. Where the town is. I could spend I'm stuck. I'm pretty sure it's this one. I could try my hardest and I'll never reach my And this should be it. I know that I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. Didn't want to change. What? I think that I did is a good I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. Is this not our cabin? Is this not it? Yeah, this is our cabin. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. So I wasn't wrong. You, this game is just being weird. Um. Oh, frick. It's a uh, 5176. Yep. Bingo. Aren't you going to get your bag? Let me get it. Calm down. I'm trying to open the door for you, bro. Uh, okay, please confirm that when you check in here. Okay, I guess you can't do that. Cool. Uh, there you go, bud. Go inside and let me get my bag. Uh, this game's already gonna give me stress. I feel it. Why am I getting horror music right now? Alright, um. All right, you wanted first dibs, right? What a great place, I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here, right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. Uh, while I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. I guess I'll throw my suitcase over there. That's was cozy and well furnished. That's cool, that's cool. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Drop it. Oh my god, I actually have to put all of it in. I had to close the mini fridge before picking it up. Don't tell me how to live my life, game. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Hello? I swear to god, I just heard someone step outside. I know I'm not crazy. Don't put the milk back. Cool. Ooh, sorry about that, Harp. You okay? Long drive and all that. Pizza really did a number on me. No worries. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rust, uh, rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Yeah, it's cute. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Well, good thing he found the bathroom first. I gotta close you. Smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Oh, no. Oh, that's gross. Okay. What's gonna happen while I'm in the bathroom? Anything weird? Mike gonna try to text Rick. Yeah, here. Hi, right, we've checked in. Cool. Uh, I don't think anything weird's gonna happen, right? I hope nothing weird's gonna happen in this cabin of only friends and fun times. Okay, I can't turn the light off or on. Hey, Mike. Feeling better after the drive? Much better now. So ready to check out the place. Sounds good to me. After you. All right. Um. Nice. It's a dope or word puzzle. We got a fireplace. The room is bigger than my apartment. It's a nice living room. Really suspicious that it's on under a hundred bucks. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I don't like that. 
What the frick is this? This is weird. A little game corner, I guess. Mike, if you lock me... Oh, I thought Mike got me stuck in there. I was about to be so angry. Uh, what's over here? Just back... Ooh, basement. Going down. In the basement. Uh, no access to guests. Okay. What's this? Papers. Totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your college dorm. You sure? I don't smell the long beach cush here. Oh my god. So we doing drugs. Okay, cabinet under the stairs. Probably gonna have to hide there later, knowing how this works. Can I get in there? Nope, can't get in there either. Okay. Um, very suspicious about that door, but I will be courteous and not go in there yet. Check out the backyard. Is that a basketball hoop? And a fire pit? Let's go! I'm gonna go in the shed. I'm gonna open the shed. Just a totally normal shed. Nothing to see here. This guy really must like fishing. It can be fun. Cool. Oh. Oh, am I gonna have to actually know this later? That's not cool. Okay, let's get on out of here. This is a quaint cabin. All right. Now, here is where I'm curious of what is actually going on inside this cabin. Because I know it's not going to be hunky-dory with this game. Uh, closet. Don't care. Um, bathroom. And a patio. Nice. Can I just sit there? Hmm. Quaint little town of Woodbury. Too bad we're not here for long enough to do laundry. I thought you hated doing laundry. Right, let's, what am I supposed to check out? This game probably wants me to look for something specific. Oh, here's bedroom number two, three, one. I call dibs on this one. All yours, pal. Didn't even look at any others. This might be the worst one. Oh, comes with a private bathroom. Nice. Um. Oh. Oh, mother! Oh my god! Oh, hey, you're here. Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. Uh, you didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering his question. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement, and you... Never mind. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um... I was out looking for my car earlier, and I remembered the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left the bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Um, speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right, right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you uh, the grand tour. What the frick? I was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. He's a creep. Uh-huh. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Cool. Oh, this thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Dog, you... I don't... I don't like this at all. This is really unsettling. Look, Harp, this room has a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the dick. Follow me now, please. I don't like this at all. This is weird. This is unsettling. And why are you here without, like... You didn't tell me that you were here. Holy smokes, this is incredible. I am way too close. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks. Let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. Creek. Oh, is that the creek over there? Nice. Get off of my back, Michael. <sighs> I, I don't like any of this right now. This uh, isn't cool. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. Uh, if the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. 
Storms like these, you never know. We might. Uh, thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. Sure, Rick. Ricky. Rick. Rick. Ricardo. I don't like this. <laughs> this is not cool, Rick. You weren't supposed to be here. All right, folks, I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. See the knob, turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter, the bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Yeah, uh-huh. We already uh, gave ourselves the self-tour earlier. Maybe maybe you just uh, go on and, and dip now? Mm-hmm. Were you, were you trying to turn the light on that I already turned on? All right, tell me about the water heater, Rick. Yeah, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the uh, bottom. The pilot light will fire right up, and you'll be back in business. Cool. Appreciate you. What's this room? Rick, what's that room? Hey, sir. What's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Wrenches don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's, uh, let's move on, Rick. You freaking creep. <sighs> what? Why are you stopping on the stairs? Don't stop on the stairs like this. Did I mention, well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices that night said they could hear something shuffling around down here. That... I am leaving you the worst review ever seen by man. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. M Mike, back up! Rick, keep walking. <laughs> the looks on your face. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. Get going, Rick, before I beat the hands. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around 6 out of 10. All right, folks, snow starting to pick up. I'm going to hit the road now. Got to find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. Did he say cat earlier and I read car? By the way, what was the name of the booking? I must be getting old. Sydney. <laughs> Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Get out of here, Rick, I swear to God. Frickin' creep. Super weird. Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Cool. I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks. See you in a bit. <sighs> so, there's a bathroom downstairs that also has a shower, but he said very specifically to use this one. Does he have a camera in here? Oh, that's probably Mike downstairs watching TV. I was like, what am I hearing? I didn't use the towel. Oh, God. Oh, wait, am I gonna, is he going to tell me I need to get my clothes off? No, okay, cool. Got to shower with the clothes on every now and then. You guys know what I mean? Uh, do I at least have clothes on now? Tap didn't work. Uh, Mike! Oh. Hello? Oh, Mike, what are you doing? Hey, Arp, check this out. I found this fish around the shed. Yeah, plan to catch dinner? Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to this trip. You know what? Let's do it. Screw it. Hell yeah. Follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Cool. Um, do we have any jackets? Coats? Um, did he give us permission to use his rods? It's kind of rude to just take someone's stuff. Um, I actually, I don't know why I'm getting an uneasy feeling right now. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Uh, do. Cool. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. 
Okay. We need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? Yeah. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp or carp harp. Please don't make rhymes with my name. <laughs> uh, carp, 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 carp. Oh, common carp. Cheese delight. Oh, that's cute. Uh, golden sweet corn. Cheese delight. Uh, wait, use the cheese delight. All right, let's go. You ready? Cheese, golden corn. Cheese. Whenever you're ready, grab the carp bait and let's head to the creek. I, I grabbed it though. Oh, I need the whole can. Well, sweet corn should work too. I got cheese to start off though. Um, actually, you know what? Last time I fished for carp, I did use corn. Thinking about it. Glad that he set this all up for us. That's actually really cool. Okay. Um, hope those carp are biting today. It's actually going to be a cozy fishing sim. Too far to cast. Oh, we're in fish simulator now. Uh, it's going to... It's gonna be just a click. Get it, get it. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Nah, nah. Bluegill. Throwback. We're only here for carp. Alright, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna fast forward to when I catch all three fish unless something else happens. Just say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Cool, cool, cool. I finally caught one. I ain't gonna lie. It took me like 15 minutes to catch one. So definitely glad I skipped ahead to this part. So I'll be back when I catch all three or whenever there's any more dialogue. That's two. Woohoo! Just one more carp left. You got this. Heck yeah, I do. All right, so there should be one last one here in the center. That That's where I've been catching them all is right here. So if you're having issues finding them in your own playthrough, right there in the center area is where they uh, be biting. I do like this fish mechanic, though. It's just a quick tap and back and forth. God dang it, of course I told you guys where I got it, and it's not that right fish. Get back in there. Alrighty, there's our third and final carp. Alright, Harp, looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. Alright, get on up. Now, I've got to make sure to put everything back. The... What is that noise? What's going on? Why am I hearing creepy music? Is that door open upstairs? Why is that door open upstairs? Hold up a, guy. Hold up a minute here. Right, put the fish back. Nope. <laughs> Works for me. Hey, Mike. Why is the, why is the balcony open, Mike? I, I didn't leave that open, did you? Mike? Uh, while well, I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind preparing the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt. Oh, I'm going to forget all of this. Why is everything open? Okay, let me get everything prepped for him. Oh, it says it here. Thank goodness. Uh, seasoning, seasoning. Oil. Cool, cool. Uh, ginger. Sand seasoning. Who organized this freaking kitchen? Paprika. The salt. Where are you? No, no, no. Nope. Uh, no, no. No, where? Oh, over there in front of my face. I'm just blind. Uh, yogurt. Oh, so you were prepared for this to come, for this carp. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Why is it, Did we leave everything open? Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the uh, casserole while I chop these veggies? On it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we left everything open. Just saying. I had to add the fish first. Okay. Get on the counter. Oh, one. And a two. Marinade. Oh, pick the bowl, pick the bowl. Now could you... Uh, now could you add the veggies? I already need to go for 30 minutes at 400. Yeah, yeah. Sure. 
I thought you were cooking this, Mike. Uh, bingo. Ugh, oh, I am a chef galore. You're welcome, Mike. This carp is going to taste amazing. They better. While we wait for it to cook, uh, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the other room next to the uh, living room. Uh, which one? Just grab whatever just got your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, you already said that. I'm going to go get it. Mike, you are very impatient. Close that door. We don't need to, uh, the whispers of the damned ghost in the basement. All righty. Tower chest. Whispers. Ouija. Ouija. I'm doing Ouija. This is a horror game. We're, we're getting the Ouija board. I'm going to be the dumb kid that gets the Ouija board. Mike! Oh, snap. Is that a Ouija board? Oh, you bet it is. Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. Can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey. Remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea. I love that idea. All right, let's go. Oh, uh, yep. Using a Ouija board in the basement. Nothing screams genius idea like that. All right, Mike. Where do you want to set up? Where are, we, where are we putting this bad boy? Watch out for spiders down here. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. We're about to be sitting on the ground. All right. Oh, oh, there's a table. Was that here before? Oh, he's just moving it. Okay. Yeah, Mike. Set that up here in the middle. Let's get real in depth with this Ouija board. Nora is going to come here and be so happy we did this. You will make this even... Ah! Excuse me. Uh, even spookier? What now? Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. All right. Jesus. Oh, excuse me. I've been sneezing all freaking day. Turn off that one. Can I turn this one off? Nope. No, it's just on. How are we supposed to read this in the dark? Anyway, do you know how this works, Harper? E yes, I do, actually. We both put our fingers on and hope for the best. All right, then. You go first. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? You, you, it's not just your hand, weirdo. Or is my hand on it, like spiritually on it? Because you're kind of just moving it around randomly, Mike. I, I, I'm not keeping pace with it, whatever you're moving, bud. No way, are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. F. J. Nope, not making any sense here. B. M. Yeah, I'm not making anything out here, bud. You're kind of... Uh, are you friendly? Keep it to yes or no questions. Keep it simple. It's going to move to no, isn't it? Uh... Uh, oh, come on, where are you going? Where are you going? My turn. Sure. Seems like a very dumb thing to be doing right now. Come on, buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Be respectful, Mike. We already said this. Jesus. They were friendly before. They're not going to be friendly when you're done talking. Holy crap. What the hell, Mike? Wait for me. Wait, what did we hear? I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. Hmm. I think it's just someone in that back room. Mike, why are you being a baby? There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would have moved your ass, too. Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Yeah, you chose flight, you baby. I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. Food's done. That took 30 minutes for us just to mess with a Ouija board. And to get no answers, I... I also don't know what scared them. Did something move? Because I didn't really see anything going on. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. That looks gross. That does not look that good. Just, just going to put that out there. I'm also not a huge fish person, so like, mmm, lovely. Come oh, this is back. No. I'm Jeffrey. Oh, this cursed show. A 
biggest chocolate cake. Oh no. Full of mayonnaise. Why? This delicacy is very popular. Please in no. Where mayonnaise flows down the river is like a oh. mayonnaise water park. I don't think it actually does, but okay. We are going to prepare the asparagus. Uh huh? Season these with a lot. <laughs> what salt. am I watching, man? Salt is good for the bones. It's not good for any After bones. After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making uh -huh. the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Uh huh. Uh, Harp, that was yes, some damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. It, it was all right. Sauce. I don't have to rain on my parade, Harp. It was no Moe's Pizza, but I thought it turned out well. Hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Oh, we're taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll do the dishes then. This is gonna taste like shit. But here you are, anyway. Stop. Stop. No, I'm I'm turning that off. Oh my god, that that pained me so much to hear. Ugh. Who's gonna show up in the window? I'm watching the window. I don't trust it. Come on, poke your head out. Poke your head up. I know you're gonna do it to me. Where are you? Uh. Really? No. Hello? Mike? I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? I'm sorry, what? No, Mike. No, shut up. We're not playing this game. No one's under your bed, right? Oh my god. Mike, are you high? Don't make sounds, walk slow. Fine. Walking slow. Mike. <sighs> Jump scare. <laughs> Why, Mike? What the hell, Mike? You're lucky I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. Screw you, dude. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. It was a stupid joke. You want to go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? <sighs> Fine. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. Bet. Go on. He's not gonna find me. I already know where I'm gonna hide. Decided to hide in the basement. Yep, you're go Same place! Under the stairwell! He's never gonna know if, we're if I'm under there. Go, 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 go. Oh, quickly, close. Am I gonna hear, like, ready or not? Bingo. Oh, is it monitoring my voice? God dang it. Oh, you're not gonna find me, Michael. Ain't gonna find a thing. Oh, don't, no, no, Mike, don't go in there. Come on now. Oh, got you. Ah, oh, screw you, Mike. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. What? Alright, my turn to hide now. Better close your eyes and start counting. Fine. Ready or not, here I come. Can open the door. Weird. Okay. So I heard him... Like, up here. Can't open that. I think he's upstairs. Probably. Hello? Weird. I could have sworn I saw a shadow there. That was, that was a little buggy on the counting. Sorry about that, guys. He's going to be in my closet. This closet. Boom! Got you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. 
Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. What? Ah, oh, fine. What? I can reach without a step stool. Um, chair? No. I guess it's probably a step stool in here, right? Probably gonna need that. Um, step stool, step stool. Where am I supposed to find a step stool? Oh. Oh, that's a box. Oh, was you. Probably cooling off the whole house. Where is a step stool? M Mike, I could use your hand looking for the stool. Unless I, it's in there and I'm just blind. Oh, I am blind as crap. <sighs> Open back up. And up we go. Oh, who that what is that? <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's a cat. Hey, pretty kitty. Hi. Hi, Mr. Cat. Oh, what's up, little cutie? Yeah. I'm gonna pet the shit out of you. Uh-huh. Anything else up here? Nope. All right, cool. I guess it's just the cat then. Sydney, are you okay? What was that? Uh, uh, what was up there? It's just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Yeah, maybe we can get her one of the carp after uh, I come find you again. Oh, frick. Where am I hiding now? I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Bold choice, Sydney. Bold choice. Don't know how it's gonna pay off for you in the end. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on, you're so slow, even running. Close to you. Put lights off. Where, where can I even hide in here? Like, is there anywhere to actually hide? Um, no. I guess, I guess I can't actually, like, hide hide in here. I guess I'm gonna watch the house then. Surely he's not just gonna come right out here, right? Oh, maybe he is. Mike, go away. You don't see me. Even though I'd probably be very. Excuse you! There's someone else in the house. No, no. No. Mike, Mike. There you are. Mike, someone else is in the house. Mike. Damn, Harp, it took me uh, a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing, worth doing well. My turn. Close those eyes. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. Mike, there's somebody in the house. Sydney, I know you saw that. There's no way you didn't see that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mike. I, it, I'm pretty sure it's Rick, but someone else is in this house. Like, I saw them, you saw them. We all saw them. Okay, none here. We're gonna do this methodically. Is that downstairs? I think that's downstairs, hold up. Hello? Hello? Nope, it's upstairs. What is that banging? What happened? Why the hell are you in here again? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. This is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. It's late, Rick. Yes, you do. Never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. 
You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Uh, didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you'd need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> Look, uh, do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. Oh, yes, there is. Shut up. I think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet. I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave uh, you to it. Thank you. Get out. I'll follow him. I don't trust him not leaving. Come on. Let's go. Keep going, Rick. He's also got a hammer in his hand right now, so I mean, he could he could definitely just beat the crap out of us. Are you gonna tell him about his cat? <sighs> Screw that, man! Oh, not cool. <sighs> After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Sounds about right. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Cool. 11.39 p.m. Question is, is this all going to happen in one day? Huh? What? Hello? Mike, what's up? Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. Oh, I gotta come to sleep. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry, I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you, what are you talking about, Mike? You're just being weird. Oh, hey, hon. This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day for sure. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He, 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 he does, Mike. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't have barged into the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You've also been a little difficult to deal with. You're right, Sydney. I'm really sorry. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Yeah, go go back to your room. Can I help you? Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Mike, don't be weird. Don't be weird, Mike. What? Harp, you know? I've missed this. Us just talking. It's been too long. I don't like you, Mike. You know? You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Um, would you be doing this if Nora was here? Hmm? Would you, Mike? You actually you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good idea. Besides, oh. Guys. Uh oh. I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and huh? my stinking tire just blew oh, out. Oh no. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway uh -oh. 11 near Killington. Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. Uh -huh. I I think it says Kent Pond. Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the oh, tire. Oh, Nora. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? We gotta go get Nora. What time, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed, and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and uh, get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. 
Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. It's really nice, Mike. It is, but you're just trying to make a pass at me and I should definitely probably go help get Nora. I always like doing nice things for you, Cindy. Please be careful. Don't be weird, Mike. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. Weird. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to bed. I have to lock the front door. Which, what? Why didn't? Oh, hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Sure, it's safe to drive in this weather. Don't worry, I've driven to worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. Probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Didn't you blame me? A little bit. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. <sighs> Not now, Mike. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. Don't be weird. Okay, yeah, that's close. Cool. I imagine she locked it. I'm going the frick to bed. What was that? Go to sleep. Mike seems like a good guy. He's just really, really weird, man. I told my, myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the uh, minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Definitely not Mike back yet. Uh, hello? Hello? Excuse me? I don't see the truck, hold up. Who the frick is ringing this doorbell? No. Hello? <gasps> it's the hiker. Oh my God, the realization someone outside was horrific. Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know I ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for about two or more hours. Um. You, you can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get in here to get me. You're, you're not coming in. End of story, bud. Sorry. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. Should have known you'd be as big a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? So you know who's here? Hold up. Think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? Figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. Um, uh, get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. That's it. See what yourself. Is he just gonna stand there? Um, is there a phone? Where's the phone? Phone, 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 phone. Oh, wait. Oh, phone. Um, but let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Excuse me? Go away. The man at the door seemed irre uh, irrelevant compared to how tired I was. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. I ain't sleeping after that. I'm gonna sit there with a gun ready to pop somebody. Because that's crazy. That's wild. Now what? Hello? What? Hello? Get up, get up. Sydney, get up. What? What the frick? At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Why? What, what happened? Uh... Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again. But can you come back here? There's someone we met driving down here. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared and think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? 
Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. Nora. Michael. Michael, somebody. Hello. Um. Who, who, who's alive? Who's alive? Uh. Uh oh. Now what? Do I, do I go look for him? Balcony. Balcony is the best choice, right? Hello? Uh-oh. Oh, I don't see anybody. Please be Rick. Please be Rick. I, I hate that I need Rick right now, but please be Rick. Oh, it looks like Rick. Okay. Open the door, miss. It's me. Oh, hey, Rick. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Explain the situation. Uh, yeah, I came as quickly as I could. Why are you up? I won't worry about him anymore. W what do you mean? Rick. Why do you have a hammer? Rick. By the way, where's your friend, the guy who was with you earlier? Um... He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Rick. Rick. What are you doing, Rick? Rick. What are you doing? Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Rick. Not all of them know when to stay away. Rick, what are you talking about? Uh-huh. Come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been in the rental all week. Hey. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? Ah, uh, it's my friends. They're almost here. Not so. Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. Sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. Um, you need to leave right now. What'd you just say? Confront. Oh god, he's really close. This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house. It will be one of, will be one of us. What? Rick, what are you, Man. what are you doing? <gasps> Still didn't feel safe opening the door. Oh, frick. You're not Rick, are you? I'm gonna try it a different way. What'd you just say? This is my, uh, no, no, no. Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. All right, so he's going that way. I'm gonna go hide. Yep, go hide. Go, 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 go. Quiet as a mouse. Not a word. Very quiet. Maybe La Llorona will get him, or something, I don't know. Whatever the... He's going through the house, okay. Was that turpentine? Oh, frick. Shh. I knew it.
Oh my god! Mmm, so he's been... He's been bumming in the basement. Oh, okay, okay. One more time, one more time. Go, 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 go. Hey, no, 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 no. Balcony, 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 balcony. Oh. Balcony, balcony. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. Hey. Mm. How do I get out of this? Okay, I can't go there. Can't go out the front door because he broke it. So I gotta hide upstairs, right? Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. Oh. So he did break. God damn it. All right. I'm hiding in the attic. I put the stool down. I'm up here. Seems like my best bet. I'm going to hang out with the cat. He's not gonna come up here, right? Also, I don't think he could have heard me from all the way down there. Hi. All right, am I good? Seems like a good place to be. I think we're good. Is there anything I can do from here? Sounds like he's just below me. Yeah. Open the door, Hulk. It's freezing out here. <laughs> yep, go away. Uh, oh, oh, so I was supposed to go up here. Just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Oh, thank God. Okay. Get out of here. Please, please don't get me. Why am I walking so slow? Why am I walking so slow? Did I do the right thing? Oh my god, he's gone. Oh, hey guys. Oh, thank god. We're good. We're good. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And, he, and of course, the man who uh, was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my mind. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it was being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there were more intent behind the man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Hey, there we go. Love to have that. Oh? Oh, let's go. All right, I enjoy that. That's a fun little one. Heck yeah. Um, I feel like there, it was queso. I, uh, I'm Dante. Okay, that makes more sense. Um... Anything else I need to know? Your name, sir. I don't recognize anyone else. Okay. Um, that was really fun. I do know that there's probably another ending, maybe two, in there somewhere. 
because these games normally do have those. I don't know how to get them. I I fumbled that last area a lot. Like, I messed up probably like six or seven times before I realized, oh, hey, go upstairs. Um, so I don't know where else I'm supposed to go from there. But it was a lot of fun. As always, Rail did a phenomenal job with these games. Uh, thank you for playing Fierce of Fathoms. Thank you, Rail, for making these. These are phenomenal. Um, I don't know if this is the last one, if there's going to be any more. Hopefully there are, because this game series is amazing. And hopefully you guys can play this game for yourself. Give Rail some more support. Give support to this uh, indie devs is always a great thing. Um, with that being said, though, I am going to leave this here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Helps me my channel grow. And I hope you all have a lovely day.